Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Jolie, and um, we're going to read from One Day at a Time in Al Anon, March 11th. I noticed it wasn't up, so I'm going to read it. I need it, and I'm grateful that you're here with me. So let's see what we have. March 11th is on page 71, and um, here we go. During the days of the active alcoholism, every problem loomed so large that I was overwhelmed by it. So it was the most important thing in the world. It was the final calamity. Hysteria was in charge. I must have known there was a world outside all this, a sane, comfortable way of living. But this was way beyond me while I was wrestling with my daily shocks and despairs. Now that I have found Al-Anon, I look at my problems with a better sense of proportion and balance. I see problems worse than mine, which my friends in Al-Anon handle with poise and grace. They have courage. Thus, my difficulties are scaled down to normal size. I know I can do something about them. Today's reminder, now that I am in Al-Anon, I am no longer alone. I have learned to comfort and encourage others and that gives me a fresh approach to my own difficulties. I can help others and they can help me. And there's a quote from Ecclesiastics. Um, it says, woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. So woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. So with, with Al-Anon and the groups and you and just the reading, I feel like I have um, my higher power with me. I'm able to um, find that peace. And little by little, um, you know, uh, having faith is a state of mind. And then trust in that um, is the action that I'm taking um, that I see with others um, who encourage me and I can encourage them just by showing up. Um, and um, so, you know, uh, you know, when fear is, is prevalent, when um, we have active alcoholism in our life, um, it can, um, for me, it, it extended when that um, was the act of alcoholism was not in my life. I still had that distorted thinking and fear and um, like a dismantled um, stability of, um, of confidence and um, not sure, like, you know, you know, just feeling that loneliness because I felt like I was the only one who was suffering. Um, when I realized I'm um, coming into Al-Anon that other people have similar situations, similar stories, then I feel like we can share together and be together and then encourage and help each other. So, um, uh, yeah, I think that um, that's for sure what's been helpful to me in my life and also um, the reading reminded me to um, you know live life on life's terms you know um, even if I'm in the you know I'm here I'm doing the work I go to meetings you know but life still happens right it's not like okay I'm in here and everything's going to be you know as I dreamt as I expect there's, it's not like that, of course, you know, I have, um, I'm able to accept things as they come, uh, still do what I need to do, show up for my family, to, I learn how to be a listener instead of um, 
a task um, doer or giver or um, having um, resentments that uh, fall into other relationships that aren't um, appropriate. You know, they, they you know, um, because I'm feeling bad about myself, um, it doesn't fall into, you know, I into my other relationships like it had in the past because I'm able to start with me and um, feel uh, and know that I'm okay, even if I'm not okay. I'm okay as I am, um, flaws and all, you know, and um, I still uh, realize that I have a tendency to want everything perfect you know, I have an imagination of how I want it to be. Um, you know, that goes into having, you know, faith in in um, in how life is going to be. And um, but uh, it is I don't know. Like things just can happen every day. And if I can just take it as it comes and have someone to talk to, like my sponsor. Um, and friends, and then have the readings, um, have people who are in my life that I choose that are supportive and encouraging. You know, I, I, I work and talk with them. And um, then I'm able to also, um, you know, for me, you know, doing something creative during the day, um, cooking a meal, you know, um, painting something, um, writing something, uh, you know, so it, your day gets filled with things that are good for you, you know, whatever that is for you, what's created for you, knitting something, you know, just getting through the day that you just feel like you can go, you know, enjoy the colors of the, of the yarn or you know, when you take your walk during the day, like you can feel your body move. Um, you know, there's, you know, maybe you're going to sweat a little bit or you can like feel like your muscles working, you know, or um, just anything you can find that you can connect your mind and your body so that, you know, you have that spiritual connection when that happens, when you actually do the, the action. Um, because um, without action, nothing really has meaning, you know, like there's, you can just uh, literally go insane thinking and thinking and imagining and going like, so it's, um, it can really defeat us. And so like, oh, I don't know what kind of decisions to make. So, you know, if you make small ones for the day, then you can build on that and say, well, you know, you don't make ones for 10 years from now. You know, maybe you do if you're going to like put some money in an IRA or something or, you know, whatever you're going to do, you know, um, that kind of thing, planning for your future, but you're just putting a little bit at the time. You don't put like the whole amount in, you put in like, what is it? You can put 7,000 or something in it per year. You know, so maybe you don't, maybe you put a thousand or a hundred today, you're going to save, you know, $5 by not going to Starbucks today. And <laughs> you're going to put that in a, in like a box and you're going to, at the end of the, the year, have something saved by just putting something away every day, even if it's a quarter, you know, I have, um, a little, um, uh, ceramic banks you know like they're shaped in different like a bunny I have a bunny and a, um, a unicorn and like different banks and they're small some are small some are bigger and yeah I put like change in those and then at the end of the year or two years or five years you just collect this change and then you put it all in like a baggie or something and then you can take it down to um, a place where you can just throw all the change into the uh, spinner and then you know you 
maybe come up with $50 or $100, you know? And it's just from that little bit of saving here and there daily. So I know I'm going off topic, but I just wanted to um, come here and uh, say the serenity prayer with you today and um, uh, say thank you. So, okay, here we go. Let's just ground in and take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God's will be done. Keep coming back. It works if you work it, because you're worth it. I love you, and I'll see you soon.